Hello, I'm Scott Florence and just now what I'm going to be explaining is what is space-time invisibility. Now these are actually two separate things, space invisibility and cloaking in time. Now I'll start off with explaining what space invisibility is because it's simpler to grasp. Objects are made invisible in space by light being distorted around them, meaning that they come out of the other side of the object in the same way that they went in, with the same wavelengths and same direction. The light never interacts with the object, but instead is bent around the object due to things called metamaterials. Now metamaterials are materials with a negative refractive index, which also gives the possibility of a super lens, which is a lens that goes beyond the diffraction limit. Now what time cloaking is, is something that also works by manipulating light, but instead of bending the light in this case, what is done to the light is the light before the object is slowed down and the light after the object is sped up, meaning that there is a gap between the light that is approaching the object and the light that is leaving the object rather than it being a constant flow like a stream. While there is that gap, the object could do anything and it would not be noticed because no light has approached it and given any information to any form of observer about what the object has done. Now after the object has performed whatever action it was going to perform, the light that was previously slowed down is sped up, and the light that was previously sped up is slowed down until they are in the same positions that they were in before, and then they are made to go at the same speed. Now from the observer's point of view, what has happened is the object has just remained there. It does not make the object invisible, but what it does do is it makes it appear that the object has not changed. From the observer's point of view, all that's happened is the object has just sat still so long as the object goes back to the place that it was initially. If the action that the object does is move somewhere, then the object from the observer's point of view will just have teleported. It's called cloaking in time because despite the observer thinking that they are constantly observing it, the object can perform an interaction within that period of time and it would go unnoticed. That's all for now. Remember to subscribe, like and comment if you have any questions, suggestions or corrections. Also, if you want to have a say about what I upload next, there's some annotations here that you can comment on down below. And I'll see you next time.